welcome back to our Python class and today we will improve or add extra functionality to our NIM game by having ability to read an INI file or initialization file or configuration file. It's extremely simple format used widely among different applications to interchange data to supply settings. It's even simpler than JSON. So they, of course uh, alternative major alternative would be use a JSON, but JSON is also used for settings, but in is simpler and actually I would say more popular just for settings. So what does it look like? Uh, something like this. You have a, a section basically, right? Owner section, for example, in this case, and you have some key values, key values, and you also have comments. One of the major advantages of any based uh, configuration is you can have comments, right? And also I should mention some uh, software, I think Python lets, lets you do it too, supports also comments using hash marks, right? Because of course, uh, you know, Python we use that for commenting. So that's also a possibility. So either way would work. So we will try it again. So Python, as usual, has this ability built in. So if we go here, config parser uh, library, import config parser, and we can read this, right? So let's try this. So uh, let's try this. Let's make a simple default file uh, with some settings and see if we can actually read it. So I'll, I'll call it nim game or maybe nim config or maybe nim cfg, right? Uh, so I'll make a new file. Uh, let's see how it looks like. Nim ini, yeah, or cfg also would work, right? Either way would work. I'll do, I guess, cfg. I kind of like cfg a little better. Uh, but this is exactly the same thing, right? And I will add a section default, uh, section default, right? And uh, what do you want? What do you want in this, right? Right, to all the uh, game, games, right? So on, yeah, yeah, right. Okay, and these are some comments again. And what do we want? We want, of course, um, uh, match count. Let's do that. Why not? So match count. Uh, starting matches, starting, starting match count. We'll do, of course, uh, 21, right? Uh, mean, mean, uh, mean match, mean match to remove, minimum, uh, minimum, how do we call this in our, let's check our class design. Uh, let's go to our class. Let's check how do we call it. We call it uh, min matches or max matches, right? Min matches and man max matches, right? So, I got min matches, I'm not called min matches. Min matches will be, of course, one. Max matches will be three. So that's enough for now, right? So simple configuration file, right? And we would like to read this. It's a text file, of course, right? So let's see how it works. So basically now read nimcfg. So we'll make a function. Again, we could also make it, of course, a method, right? But for now, I'll make it a function outside or, uh, right, like I have return players, I'll go use a functional. So I'm mixing and matching styles here, right? I'm mixing a class-based object-oriented style with functional style, but I'll do uh, define get config, right? And pass, uh, mm, pass, right? Pass will be, of course, uh, name CFG, right? Or source, right? Okay. And we need, of course, import, 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 uh, config parser, import config parser. Right, there we go. We will need that. And we will read this and we will return. Well, we'll return the object. We'll return this configuration object, right? So, uh, yeah. On right, the configuration try is open pass as config file for line config file line x strip right. Um, question is this really needed? Uh, is open file as config file for line config. We could do this. This is too much. This is too much. We don't need this. Uh, this is manual, right? We could do this, but we don't need this, right? Uh, so uh, this is this is what AI is offering to do it by hand, right? But we don't need this. We have a config, right? We can use this. Uh, config parser we can use uh, we can use config parser uh, to read config file right so try let's try if it offers let's see and um, that's still it's still let's see 
Uh, it's still not offering it, so I'll have to do it myself, right? I'll do it by hand. AI is, is failing me this time, right? We want to read it We're here. Um, let's see. Mm, config parser like this, CFG, right? Read, right? And then we can do uh, something like this, right? And this is for reading. Uh, let's see this. So config parser, right? Uh, CFG, I'll call it CFG, right? Something like that. And uh, 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 well, let's see what offers. Does it offer me anything useful? Yeah, uh, that looks pretty decent. That looks pretty good. Uh, of course, uh, uh, let's see. Do we want all of it? All right. Uh, yeah, we could do this. Yeah, that would work. All right. So we have a basically uh, try. Do we need try? We don't really need to try for now. Assume that this works, right? So uh, let's see. Return configuration. So basically, it's a dictionary. So we'll use dictionary to store the configuration. And of course, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, we can then apply it. So nim, right? Of course, I'll use default, right? We don't need the uh, uh, for default right here, right? So default, we will use default, right? Get int. Uh, I'll use not name, right? But default, right? Because, right? Yeah. Section is default. Of course, that's up to you what you want to name it, right? Default. You can name it whatever you want, right? But I'll use default. Mean matches. Let's see again. Mean match, starting match count. So few things, right? Few things. Starting match count. Starting match count. Right, default, default, default. Okay, let's see if this works. And I don't have this one here yet, right? This one is not uh, used, right? So, and we return this dictionary. Then we return, then we return the config dictionary. Okay, looks easy enough, right? Config parser, right? And we read the open the file, right? We read the file. Questions: Do you need to close it? Well, actually, no, right? Right, read and parse, right? Uh, return a list of six list of successfully read files right um, so silently files that cannot be open are silently ignored right so yeah so you can give a single you can, you can read multiple files so read so documentation documentation on read on read read method yeah so if you want to read up on this uh, documentation so let's see how we're doing we're doing pretty good let's see if we can read it right let's do nothing else just read it so i'll call it my config equals what get config right uh, using using default pass okay and pr i'll print it for now for now i'll just print it and then maybe on later on we'll apply it see if it works nope 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 uh, no option starting match count in section default. Did I make a typo? Did I make a typo? Starting match count. Well, let's see what is this? No option starting match count in section default. Did I really make a typo? Default? Ha! Huh, interesting. I thought for sure there would be a section like that. Um, let's see. So we open the game. Did I? Let's check. Let's check. Um, we'll probably make need to go back and double check. Let's see. It uh, looks okay to me. Name CFG. Name CFG. Okay. Default. Default. And uh, looks like okay to me. Right. And we had sections. Default. Maybe we don't know how to call it default. That's a good question. Right. Read example. Right. Server alive interval. So now we use default. We do use default. Right. So that would be, of course, possible. We could use this. Well, I could also use get, right? That's also possible, right? Uh, so it should have worked, um, but maybe something is wrong. CFG get int, right? Uh, uh, so possibly again, uh, it should have worked as uh, or pass. Maybe name CFG, name CFG looks okay to me. I don't know. Something something is wrong. We'll have to fix it, of course, right? Uh, let's see about uh, our. So can we do this? Uh, config. 
uh, match count right equals I'll use just basically it should be able to use this basically right default and then uh, uh, use direct approach maybe something went wrong starting match count or maybe I have a spelling error right that's also will be okay starting match count it should work maybe the commenting is off maybe we'll need to delete comments if this doesn't work we will need to go to comments starting match count yeah key error so apparently default is not red so this didn't work apparently uh, so maybe I'll print print CFG print CFG let's see what happens print CFG looks like nothing happened right so nothing happened get int so yeah looks like there is nothing in the, it's not it's not parsing the right file actually right that's interestingly enough it thinks it's probably because of working directory probably that's why yep that's what it is day 25 new game and we will need of course change the directory yeah now it works and so yeah so uh, getting the right file actually the current pass would be you know now it works now the game works and now it should work correctly yeah so you see match count min matches max matches we are good we are good and unfortunately we spent too much time and we went a little bit over the limit so now okay so now let's fix it so now again uh, we can fix it and we can uh, uh, so I'll, I'll you know I'll, I'll stop the game and uh, I will add this uh, settings here right so I have my config so I can use it here right so I can use my configuration right I will comment this out right again usually of course in an application in a, in a in production you should in production you news code should be uh, code should be removed right of course here for teaching but here of course I will use configuration right I will use configuration let's use the config values so yeah uh, my configuration yeah that's by the way this will work right uh, but match count min matches max count that's actually a possibility right so notice this little trick right I could of course so using using uh, to impact dictionary right why so into key keyword arguments right so this little trick might be useful I could of course I could I could have I could have uh, used diction directly right I could have used the uh, values one by one values one by one you know such as you know this would also this also would work right right this is just fine right in case right so what's difference difference is of course right so uh, so if you do not want to pass the whole dictionary you can pass the values one by as, as in the above example right so that's what you would do if you had but this is nice because uh, this is give you all three right so they'll give me a uh, starting match count min match so again you need of course this has to match match count min matches max matches right something quite nice so this is unpacking dictionary right I'm unpacking dictionary into keyword arguments basically right you have three so just like this so difference being that if I unpack I unpack everything I don't pick and choose if I need to pick and choose of course I would do it one by one and again of course you can use get right as well right that's also possible right so again not really hard to use again um, Except of course, maybe you need to do a try. You could do a try block here, perhaps. You could do um, if you are worried about uh, the key. Not you could use try block. You can use you can use get method, or you could use try uh, try except block. Right. So that's the alternative, right? Of course, right. So um, okay. Now let's see. Now let's use it. Right. So let me. Uh, let me do this uh, let's do uh, 15 right let's try this how before let's see it works right and we can take five matches of course the, of course the only problem is this is by adjusting this uh, or logic or smart computer will fail right again so notice how one part 
uh, again, it's very hard to design a, a program where one part is not completely dependent on other. It's so called loose coupling, right? So we have a little bit of coupling issue here, right? Or, or configuration will change uh, or strategy, of course, right? Well, starting match count is safe to change. You know, it will change whoever wins, basically. Okay, let's run it. Let's run it. Right. Uh, enter player name, Valdis. Uh, uh, without us. Right. On. You see, it worked. It worked. So I'll do three. Without us, three, two, 55, no. Uh, right, one. Valdis turn. So can I win this game? Remember, I can win it. Right. I'll do two. And poor without us, unfortunately, will lose. It will do three. And I do well. Uh, right. And while this turn, oh, I'm, I'm lose. Without us wins, actually, because I'm not paying attention. Right. So, uh, right, actually, uh, <laughs> so without us wins, actually, right, because it's my turn. Okay, you see that happens when you don't pay attention, but congratulations to without us. All right. So, uh, uh, now uh, this example shows how you can use to read a configuration alternative to. Right, right. It's an alternative, major alternative, major alternative is to use JSON, right? But many, many, right? Which we are, which 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 we already covered, which we already covered in the in previous classes. All right. So thank you all for following this. Hopefully, you learn how to read a configuration file and read the values the only issue of course with this this is you want to read the current directory so again um, notice uh, if you run the file from here you need to depends where you start your python program right so uh, if you start in a directory which is not part of your file right then uh, uh, it won't find the configuration so you need to indicate the right path so that's the only thing the only tricky part of course remember remember uh, that uh, Mm, pass can be relative right uh, or absolute right so uh, so also if relative if relative that means then then we need to know the current right so that's something right so that's something to keep in mind all right thank you and we will continue working with our game maybe we'll add a database access next